Hi folks, I'm Rod with Johnson RV. We're in Sandy, Oregon, just outside of Portland when you're looking at the map. It's a great day today. We're gonna to take a few minutes to review this new arrival. And uh, we are a Jayco dealer here at the store. And so we oftentimes get some really fine premium pre-owned in the Jayco line. And this is a very good example of that. This is a 2017 Jayco Red Hawk. The uh, floor plan, if you're looking at the floor plan, is the 26XD, they call it, okay? And uh, the nice part of that is a Class C motorhome, lots of sleeping, versatile floor plan inside. We'll look at that together in just a minute. It sleeps up to eight, technically. A couple little people in there. <laughs> um, but it's not 32 feet long, it's about 28 feet long. So it's a little bit shorter and makes it just a little easier to handle for those of you that might be wanting to, you know, make it a little easier. Um, it's, it's built on the Chevy chassis, so it's a 4500 chassis with the uh, six liter V8 engine in it, and it's paired up very well with this size. It does a nice job. When you're looking at Jayco's, one of the things they're famous for, of course, well, they're famous for a high quality build, but one of the things is this front cap area here. You notice there's no seams at the front. This is just a nice wrapped cap. So it, uh, over the years, it does well on wear and tear. It takes that wind and rain and, and that buffeting it has to take down the road does a very nice job on it. As we work our way around, we'll see that it's the fiberglass, it's the infused fiberglass. So it's infused with a nice kind of a warm cream color, cream to beige color. It's handsome. They do a good job on the graphics. You have uh, frameless windows, which is kind of the new thing now. And uh, that cuts down on wear and tear. And it also does a nice job of sealing up the coach well. Full, uh, full, well, not a full length awning, but about a 15 foot awning. It's a power awning and it's a pitchable power awning, which means you can drop one down, one side down a little bit so the rain runs off and away from your patio area. And then when you bring it back in, it's just the push of a button. You don't have to unpitch it. It'll go right back up into place just the way it is. So a little bit easier to handle than the old style awnings that we're so used to seeing. Uh, you've got a nice, uh, storage area. There's a couple storage pockets around the outside. This is the largest on this side and they're all the nice uh, uh, stainless or steel, steel lined so they hold up very well and uh, over the years. Come on around. I'll show you the back of the coach. It's hitched and ready to tow. Uh, this one actually has I want to say it's the 5,000 pound hitch, so we'll be careful on that. We've been, we're going through a transition now where a lot of the Class Cs have been uh, structured such that they're, they're towing up to 7,500 pounds. But still, 5,000 pounds is an excellent amount of towing to a, a good sized car, uh, any kind of a cargo trailer per se, and uh, does a fine job there. A ladder to the rooftop, backup camera, and integrated into the build of the coach as we work our way around. I just want to make sure you have a nice view of the outside. It's a beautiful little coach. Whoever had it took very good care of it. They only had it for a couple seasons, and so it's ready to go to the next family. Um, outside shower, tank dump station here. These are access ports for winterizing here, and then your electro or electrical uh, connections are there. And uh, this, of course, comes with a generator. It's a 4,000 watt gas powered generator, so it feeds off the gas fuel tank for the, for the motorhome itself. So you got a lot of capacity there. Nice if you're doing a lot of dry camping and you're not able to plug in. So uh, this is a two slide coach. Uh, we have the giant or the large uh, living room slide, and then there's a slide in the bedroom as well, which allows you to have a walk around queen size bed in the back of a motorhome that's not 32 feet long. So that's kind of nice. Uh, that's a quick look at the outside. Let's go inside and see the floor plan. We're inside the 2017 Jayco Red Hawk 26XD. We're just taking a quick look towards the front of the coach and you notice the Chevrolet dash area we have there and you'll have a cruise control on this coach as well. And down below you'll notice the backup camera is located in the actual rear view mirror. And I really, I'm, I'm growing, I'm kind of liking that. It's nice when it's in the dash. But when it's in the rearview mirror, that's where you kind of naturally look to get behind you anyway. And so I like the way they've done that. Now up front at the top, you have your bed area. And this is large enough to sleep two adults. I've got the cover flipped forward, but it flips this way as well. It makes a nice big bed area. You've got little storage pockets all the way around. So if you have young ones along and they've got their games and books and things that they like to have on the road, they've got a place to store them so they don't go flying all across your motorhome. Nice size uh, uh, flat screen television up front as well. Uh, you'll notice the height in here, and I'm almost six and a half feet tall. You've got seven foot headroom and uh, uh, ceilings, and so I like that. It makes it feel very open. You know, a lot of times we put these coaches out and we put them on video and we'll put the slides out, open it all up and everything. I kind of do a little something a little different this time just to give you kind of a perspective. Um, we've got both slides in, and I want you to see what it does for you. You're still, everything is completely accessible. 
So a lot of times folks have had fifth wheels and trailers and things like that. They're used to that when the slides are in, they, they can't really access things. They pull off on the road. So another nice reason maybe to look into the Class C type motorhome because of that. Slides are in on this all the way. I've got my bed is back in here. When the slide goes out, the bed just, the foot of the bed flips down, gives you a nice full size, queen size walk around bed. Uh, the floor plan, as you can see, you have the dinette next to the sofa. We've kind of gone a little, got you a little far ahead there, but you've got your sofa dinette next to each other. So it's a very open floor plan, a good work area, eating area, doesn't disturb the sofa for comfort. And Jayco does a fine job of adding seat belts in the right places. So on this coach, again, technically speaking, it's what we'd call an eight sleeper. And you have seat belts in here for two, four, six, eight. So everybody can be uh, safely seat belted in when you're going down the road. Nice galley area. Um, they've opted to go with the microwave convection here, and then they've got a storage drawer below instead of the uh, oven. So we're seeing more and more of that. A lot of us tend to use that oven for storage more than we do cooking. So <laughs> with the convection, you can still cook and bake and that sort of thing. Nice two-door fridge. Um, a comment about the woodwork in here. The Jayco's always famous for their woodwork. They're Amish built uh, in Indiana, and they do a fine job. Well, I love this color. This is, I call this kind of a honey maple color. Very rich, not too dark, not too light. Again, very comfortable. Good storage. Now, so we're back in the bedroom area. You've got nice big drawers all the way down. So for a couple people, you've got that and a nice big closet above. We're kind of around the round side, but it's a nice hanging closet there. And across the way, you've got a, uh, maybe a, we call that an armoire. And the shelves, you can adjust the shelves if you like, down below. And then you've got a curtain that comes across for privacy. Check out the bathroom. I like this nice size bathroom, sink, shower, and toilet. Window in there for ventilation. And um, they've just done a, done a fine job. Again, this is a Class C motor home uh, built on the Chevy chassis from Jayco. Sleeps up to eight people, but it's not 32 feet long like a lot of Class Cs. So easy to get around and drive around in. We'd love to tell you more about it. Give me a call. Again, my name is Rod. Number is 503-668-5400. We'd love to talk to you soon.